Okay, so here's our Cartesian coordinate system, our x and y axes, and this term Cartesian coordinate system, sometimes you hear it referred to as the Cartesian plane, or sometimes you hear the phrase xy plane, or the phrase coordinate plane. All of those phrases are basically synonyms, and they all mean this thing right here this x and y axis arranged in a perpendicular fashion. Now let's assume that each of these distances here between these markings on the graph is, is a, one, a length of one. You could have any scale you wanted. In other words, you could mark this off as 5, 10, 15, 20, and so on. Or it could be marked off as 100, 200, and so on. But in, in the absence of any other marking, let's just assume this is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 like that. And same thing on the y-axis. 1, 2, 3, and 4, and 5. And then negative numbers in the other direction, but I won't, I won't mark them all. And in this case, we're told to plot the point 3, 4. And this is hopefully review. Hopefully you've seen this sort of thing. Uh, a ordered pair plotted on coordinate axes like this. But let me make a couple of important points and show you a common mistake not to make. Okay, first of all, this is an ordered pair, x first and then y. So the 3 is the x value, the 4 is the y value. And we start at the origin, and we're going to go over 3, that's 3 in the x direction, and then up 4. And that puts us right here. So this point, that is the point 3 comma 4. That's the answer to this. When, when it says plot the point 3 4, all you need to do is draw that little dot on the graph right there. Now let me show you a mistake I see a lot of people make. People might point with their pencil or point with their finger or count in their mind and do something like this. They see x is 3 and they count 1, 2, 3 like that. And this point right here should be counted as 0. That's the zero point if we're marking off values on the x-axis, marking off numbers or coordinates on the x-axis. That should be counted as zero. Don't make me the mistake of counting that as one. And then if you're going up, don't count zero, one, or, or don't count one, two, three, four, like that. You'll end up at the wrong place. Count this point as zero. You could count zero, one, two, three to the right, and then count zero, one, two, three, four up. But a better way to think of it, instead of counting points, is think of these, these numbers 3 and 4 as distances. And count the, the distance moved. Like start at the origin and then count one, count that much space. That, that distance right there is 1, 2, 3 to the right, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 up. If you think of those as distances, you won't make the mistake of counting the 0 as the 1 because the first distance right there is that. And then clearly three, three units over puts us that far to the right, and then four units up puts us that far up, and there's no ambiguity. But that's the answer right there, the point three comma four.